first, first off, I would like to thank everybody that made this trip to Edison Rotary Club possible. My guidance counselor, Mrs. Nicolau, my family, and of course, Brother Matt. Um, unlike most schools in my local area, St. Joseph High School requires something quite different. Our freshman and sophomore year, we are required to complete a total of 20 and 25 hours of community service. Coming into St. Joe's, I saw this as just yet another obstacle that I would have to overcome early on in my high school career. However, through those two years, I learned something about myself. Community service is a very important part of growing up. It helps you understand the needs of other people and of yourself. Those two years, I took part in various community service activities, such as I was a CCD teacher's assistant. So through that, I was able to help, being a part of St. Joseph High School, obviously a Catholic school, help teach other people about religion, Jesus, and a, a variety of other things. That experience with the younger generation helped me realize how truly beneficial helping others can be. After finishing my freshman and sophomore year, I decided to carry on with community service, although it was no longer a requirement at my school. Having a mentally disabled aunt led me to a different course of uh, serving my community. No longer did I help um, the younger generation, per se, learn about Christianity and Catholic teachings, but I began helping out in other ways. I became a member of the Buddy Walk of South Plainfield and a member of Help Hands in Hands in Woodbridge. So, with that said, those two organizations help young children with mental disabilities. I then took my passion for helping younger people learn about Christianity and brought it to helping younger people with disabilities. And I felt by doing that, I showed a wide scope of, and range of community service. Therefore, I have learned from that that community service has brought me to a better place in life and I have learned about myself and other people around me. Whether you know it or not, everyone in this room needs a helping hand, so don't be afraid to lend.